Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Laura for those of you that do not know and today's video is going to be a romance recommendations set around books that are set in college. And so if you missed my video last week, I did a whole video talking about my favorite books set in high school. So this is kind of the next step up. A lot of people wanted this type of video as well. So if you haven't seen the high school one, I'll have it linked down below. Go watch that. Um, but today is going to be focused all around romances set in college. So again, these aren't books that are necessarily for college students or books I recommend for that age range, even though I kind of would, uh, but they're books where the protagonist is in college. So that's going to be like the central theme of this video today. Before I get started, I just want to really quickly say, because I know people are probably already running to my comment section to say something, I know After We Collided came out today in America and my review will be posted in a couple of days. I just still haven't watched it and I wanted to get this up for you guys. So don't fear, it'll be up soon. Be patient and I promise it will be there very, very soon for you guys to watch. So that aside, I'm gonna get started and share with you guys my book recs. The first book on my list is going to be The Impact of You by Kendall Ryan, who is an author that I've read so many of their books, but this one just happens to be a really college central book. And it's also kind of like a good girl, bad boy story. It's about this girl who goes away for college to go and have a fresh start. She's kind of shy um, and she meets this boy who is kind of the opposite of her. He's very out there, always partying, always getting with girls and they meet and he decides to kind of help her up her game and kind of be her college mentor so to speak and they kind of form this friendship and later on a romance occurs um, and it goes from there. This is a really fast-paced and fun book. It's nothing too too serious. I just think it's super enjoyable to read and it definitely has that college vibe. I feel like there's a very specific thing that I'm looking for when I recommend college books. I feel like they have to include more than just the couple. Like you want the whole college atmosphere and I feel like this book really does a good job encompassing that college atmosphere. So if you're looking for something like that, I think this is a great rec to start out with. Next up is another book that I think completely does that, and that is Wait For You by Jay Lynn or Jennifer L. Armentrout. Um, this is the first book in a series, so the whole series takes place in college. The first one does happen to be my favorite. I just love it so, so much. And it is about a girl who, very similar to the first book, ends up going away for college to a new town for a fresh start. This girl has been through so much during her high school years, and she just needs an escape from her hometown, so she moves. And upon moving, she meets this boy at school on the first day, and he's like super flirty and forward with her and she's just not used to that. Turns out he lives across the hall from her at their apartment complex and so they kind of become friends even though she's a little bit hesitant about it and just kind of wants to keep her distance from anybody um, and it kind of goes from there. I personally really love Jaylin's writing style. I think that it's super fast-paced and fun to read. However, this book does deal with some heavier topics so it's a good mix. It's taking place in college and it's just a really good book. I really love it. The next book on my list is Easy by Tamara Webb. This is actually one of the first college new adult romances I really ever read and I absolutely loved it and I still think it is one of the best ones that I've ever read too. And it is about a girl who one night after a party is leaving and this man comes up to her and she gets borderline assaulted by this man but somebody else steps in and saves the day and this man ends up helping her and later on they kind of form a friendship and he kind of helps her to learn self-defense and be able to protect herself and it kind of goes from there but there's also like this whole other central plot line going on and I don't really want to divulge too much information because it's kind of one of those plot twisty type situations so I feel like you guys should just read it for yourselves but this is one of my favorite books that I've read in the new adult college genre. I think it's really phenomenal. I think it talks about a lot of really important issues as well and I think everybody should read it. If you're looking for something a little more than just the college romance, I think you guys will like this one. Next on my list is The Unrequited by Saffron Kent. I love Saffron Kent. I've read all of her books and I find them so, so enjoyable. And this one is no exception to that rule. This follows a girl who's in college and she ends up having a crush and falling for her professor. And I feel like a very central theme in a lot of Saffron Kent's books is a protagonist who ends up becoming like head over heels obsessed with this male and he is like not giving her the attention that she wants. That book is very much this um, and I feel like a lot of Saffron Kent's books are like that 
but I think they make for an interesting story. I really like how all of her protagonists are very unapologetically themselves. However, that's something I actually really like about her protagonists. I think they're so much more than just like the simple like good girl bad boy story. They often have so many more layers to them and they're far more interesting than a lot of characters that we see. And so I personally love that. I love flawed characters. I love characters that aren't perfect and that's definitely Saffron Ken's forte. So I highly recommend this book. I really love it, especially if you're looking for something that's like student teacher. I think it's really good for that but I just love this book in general. I think it's so fun and I'm obsessed with it. Next book on my list is called True by Erin McCarthy. This is a book that I also believe is a series but I've only read the first book of and it follows a girl who kind of comes from a very sheltered background and her roommates upon finding out about this decide that they need to find a boy for her to hook up with. Her roommates like don't want her to know that they're going behind her back and trying to find a guy to hook up with her so they do it kind of in secret and this girl ends up meeting the guy anyway and it kind of goes from there. Again it's one of those stories that's kind of like you just have to read it. I don't want to spoil too much about it. It very much has After by Anna Todd vibes so if you're into that I think you guys will really like this book. I kind of enjoy when romance books have some kind of plot that you're Kind of going in knowing about rather than just like oh there's a boy and a girl and they meet and then stuff happens so if you're into that too if you want something that's a little juicy and you kind of are on your toes for a while I think this is the recommendation for you and I think you guys will really really enjoy it. Next book on my list is Top Secret by Elle Kennedy and Serena Bowen. This is one of my all-time favorite college stories about two frat brothers who end up talking online and not knowing it's each other and they actually have like beef in the fraternity with each other so they don't get along in real life but they start talking online on a messenger app and they just don't know it's each other and it's so good like the tension is so fantastic in this book I love it so much this is a plot line to me that could never be overdone like I would read a hundred books that are similar to this book just because I love it I love the idea of two people that know each other in real life and online and don't realize it's the same person it's fantastic so if you're looking for something like that I definitely recommend it it's also a gay romance so if you're looking for something with a gay romance I think you guys will enjoy this book a lot um but yeah it's one of my favorites by Elle and Serena I just I'm obsessed with it and it's very collegey because you have kind of the frat uh vibe in it so really recommend it next book on my list is called Him by L.L. Ash this is actually an age gap story about a girl who falls for her best friend's dad and so the situation is this girl and her friend to move away to college and they end up moving in with this girl's dad and she's not very close to her dad she didn't really grow up around him in fact the friend or the lead protagonist doesn't even know him and meets him for the first time upon moving into his house and um, her friend is kind of more out there wants to party wants to go kind of have that whole college scene and the protagonist is a little more laid back a little shyer and so she sticks at home a lot and she ends up getting kind of closer with her dad and so it's a bit taboo again it's an age gap but it's a little different it's definitely a college romance but it has a different vibe to it because obviously the male isn't in college so it's a little bit of college a little bit of taboo a little bit of age gap but I thought I would throw in kind of a fun wreck something a little different than the rest in here um, for any of you guys that are looking for that but I really enjoyed this it's very reminiscent of Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas so if you like that book you'll probably like this one too. The next book on my list is probably the first book that comes to mind when anybody asks me for a college romance recommendation. I really don't like the author of this book and I try to separate the author from the book and it's just so hard and I also just don't want to promote it because I don't want people to even support this author but it's literally one of my favorite books and it has been one of my favorite books for a very long time so I'm going to recommend it but you should buy it second hand or find it online somewhere um because I just I don't want to support this author it's Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire <laughs> you guys have probably heard me talk about it before because it's literally like my favorite romance book but I'm having this ethical dilemma so just bear with me but if you want to read the book you should read it because it's honestly really really good um, but maybe find a different way to read it if you know what I mean so this book follows Abby and Travis I love them so much um, Travis is like an underground fighter and Abby is kind of trying to stay away from anybody who might derail her life in a big way and he just screams trouble so she doesn't really want anything to do with him but upon meeting he's immediately infatuated by her and wants to get to know her more so they make this bet and basically if he wins then she has to stay with him in his apartment for a whole month and if she wins then he has to be celibate for a month and it kind of goes from there. I love this story. I know it's not everybody's favorite either but I personally love this story and I just think it's the college romance recommendation so I just wanted to share it but again I just 
I have so many problems with the author of this book and this series so it's hard for me to even talk about it anymore but I feel like there would be questions if I didn't mention it because a lot of you guys know it's like my favorite book so yeah do with that information what you will I love the book it's just like it, it breaks my heart that I just don't I just don't want to talk about it anymore. Another recommendation that I just wanted to throw in here, even though it's super, super obvious, in case there's any lingerers who haven't read it yet, it's the Off Campus series and the Briar U series by L. Kennedy. These two series consist of eight books overall, and they're all companion novels, so all of the characters are friends and they're kind of in the same friend group, but every book follows a different lead couple. My personal favorite is the score from off campus. It's book three. I love it. You could read them out of order if you want. I recommend reading the whole series because honestly every single couple is worth the read and I love all of them, but Dean and Allie are just my favorites. Um, but yeah, it takes place in college. They're hockey players and it's a really great series. So if you haven't read it, check it out because it's honestly really good but I'm assuming most of you have read it by now okay so we'll move on the last book on my list has been like my favorite recommendation over the past couple of weeks so you guys have probably already heard me talk about it but it is Bad Boys Break Hearts by Michaela Schmelzer this book I just read it and fell in love with it it is about a girl and a boy who were friends growing up the girl ends up moving away and they lose connection from each other and they end up meeting up again in college but it's basically them having this enemies to lovers quarrel because the guy is like super broody and mean towards her, which she doesn't expect at all. But they kind of go from there. So it's very enemies to lovers, but it's kind of like friends to enemies to lovers, which I personally really, really love. I love when the characters kind of have a history with each other. So that made for a really enjoyable read. I don't know why I just fell in love with these characters when I read it and I made all my friends read it and they all loved it too. So I think you guys should read it too. It's really really great. It takes place on a college campus because obviously they meet up again in college and it's just really great. I loved it. It's going to be a series. There's going to be another book that comes out about one of the characters from the first book so get excited for that read the book and we can talk about um all of our things for the next book coming out i'm very excited for it but i think you guys should definitely check it out i really love it and i'd love to talk to you guys about it okay guys so those are going to be my college romance recommendations for today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you've not already please 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 leave me a comment down below letting me know your recommendations for me that are college romances i'd love to hear anything that you guys have um, also let me know if you've read any of these books. Did you like them? Did you not? Is there anything you're definitely adding to your TBR? Let me know. Also in the description box you can find my Wattpad story which is also a college romance. If you're curious I'm still writing it, still working on it. It's called Friends Lovers or Nothing but check it out down below if you've not already. But other than that thank you guys so so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back very very soon for my After We Collided movie review. I know a lot of you guys are waiting for that so it'll be here soon. Don't worry. Um, but other than that I hope you guys all have a fantastic day and I will see you all very very soon in my next video. Bye. Also, go vote.